I'm done sanding. See? Everything is sanded. Wall is, you know, patched and ready to go. No big holes anymore. It's nice and smooth and patched and sanded. So now I'm just going to go over it and paint the hole of this wall. I'm going to give this wall a fresh coat. I'm going to give that wall a fresh As a matter of fact, all these walls need a fresh coat. So it's the same paint. It's going to match. So I don't have to do like up high up that area up there is good already so i'll just paint from like here down pretty much um from here down you know all uh, that right there down so i'll just paint and blend it in um i use the same white paint in all the rooms so uh, when i paint it it'll just match right back you know to the top um yeah so i'm gonna paint this room maybe tomorrow or the day after uh, it's two rooms I'm working on, on at the same time so once I prep this one get it ready for paint then I prep the other one get it ready for paint so when I'm painting I just paint this room and the next room at once um, instead of you know painting washing brush going back back and forth we just do one paint so I'm gonna go over to the next room now and um, there's a little bit of sanding over in that room as well so let me grab my sanding block. Um, just grab my bag. Let's get over to the next room. All right. The next. All right. So this is the next, the other room. See, we got that right there to sand, and then I got some in the corner right here to sand, and then uh. Got a little spot right there. But as far as the rest of the room, um, this wall was a wall where it was really messed up, guys. It's got a lot of blemishes and patchwork, previous patchwork. I didn't do this. It was like that, you know, when, I, when we got the place. But this wall is one of them walls that needs to redo from top to bottom. Um, as you can tell, if you look good, let me see if you can see it. There's a lot of patchwork being done you know see there's the lines everywhere you know paint run from previous i try to scrape it down you know a little bit but it's hard it is it's you know a big patch was done right there up in that area um so this wall is horrible they had some kind of mural on the wall i guess um even in the daytime like not the daytime <laughs> sorry um if you look at it at certain angle you'll see the imprint of whatever they had on the wall so at some point they had some kind of paint that they had paint on there and and it leaves the mark when they paint over it is like there's a mark it, it's you still see it underneath the paint so i don't know how to get rid of that the only way is probably to rip this drywall out and put new drywall in or what they do they i think i heard one of them contract they said that they mud it so they have um drywall compound and the drywall compound the whole wall and then sand the whole thing no i'm not about to do that it's just too much sand and dust and it's just too much to sand this whole wall um it would probably be easier one day i just cut the drywall out fit some new sheets in and just the the joints i'll have to you know sand um uh in this room, I'm thinking that's what we'll, we'll probably have to do. Um, uh, you know, there's you, know, you could cover it up with wallpaper, but um, at the end of the day, you put wallpaper in here, the person who moves in, they might not want like it. They want a different theme or, or something. So um, I'm not really sure. I'll just leave it like this and then whoever comes in, they could paint it or, you know. But it's horrible. It, it has a... I don't know if they had a shelf on here, but there's a patch all the way along here, going all the way down. You could see it. So I don't know. Uh, I'll 
I have no idea what I want to do with that. <laughs> and then even on this side of the wall, there's a big patch right here as well. See a big square patch. I don't know what happened there. But, and then even right here, look, there's a, if you look at it real good, I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but there's a big patch right here. And it's just because when they patched it, they didn't sand the edges smooth. You know what I'm saying? So it gives it a nice smooth look. There's another one right here. It's a huge patch right here as well. You know, looking at it from over here, you won't see it. You know, when you look at it through here, through the camera, you might not see it. But when you're going close, you know, or look at it on an angle when the light hits it, you'll see it. So it's just one of them rooms that's, you know, it's real horrible, horrible patchwork, Betty. Um, it's gonna happen regardless because see even now I'm patching stuff right here see but what I try to do is smooth it out as best as I can so I feather out the edges you know around the patch that way when you paint over it you don't really see the transition where the patch is on these they didn't feather out the edges you see it they didn't feather out the edges to make it smooth you could see the outline of the patch they should have feathered it out you know um, however, because so much paint has been painted over this, I can't feather it out anymore because you can't really sand the paint, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Maybe I should put more compound over it and then feather it out some more. I could do that, but you still end up seeing the patch. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Later on, see here's another section right here. This whole room is just filled with huge square patches. Um, it's just terrible work from the, the last person, you know? So, but yeah, stay tuned, I'll get to it. Um, I'm gonna, you know, sand out this room and then um, I think that's gonna be it for the rest of the day. Um, I'm not gonna do any painting today. Um, I'll do the painting tomorrow. Um, or the next day. Yeah, man. So, you see how when I do it, I kind of feather it out. So when you feather it out, you don't see the transition from the original wall to where the patch was. Um, so that's why I do a feather out the edges. Try not to leave any, you know, lines. If they had done that to these, then you know it would have been alright. You, know, you gotta sand it lightly. Once you get knock off the rough part, you sand it lightly, and then you feather it off. Yeah? Like it blends, it blends in with the original wall right there. All right, guys, stay tuned. I don't think I'm gonna show you much of me sanding, or I could do a time lapse on it. Um, So, stay tuned guys, watch the time lapse. Um, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me sanding it down, so stay tuned real quick. All right guys, so see I got it sanded. Um, in the corner right here, it's all sanded as well top up there there's a little section right here mm -hmm. all right so that's all sanding um so no I it's just ready for paint as I said we got a lot of blemishes right here just from previous patch, a lot of different patchwork that going right there. Um, when I'm done, I'm gonna move all these things and I wanna see if I could fix this area up a little bit. Maybe, I mean, cause it goes all the way over into here. This whole section is messed up. So I don't know, I'll probably just paint it over and you know, one day I'll just probably just change the drywall on that section, but this section is also ready for paint. I missed a spot right here. So let me miss that spot right here. So yeah. 
So this side is ready for paint. The neck, the other room over there is ready for paint. So I'm gonna come back in here maybe tomorrow night and uh, just paint the whole this section and the whole of the in the other side. I don't think I have enough paint, so I'm gonna have to buy some um, another gallon of paint um, to to you know touch it up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy two gallons because I got this wall right here. One. Two, three, and then the other room is the whole four walls. So I mean, I might need another two gallons, or I might buy a five gallon bucket, and then that five gallon bucket, you know, I'll have extra. Because these rooms were always painting them over. Every now and then someone moves out or touch up, or when someone, you know, move out, move in, I gotta do over the room. So um, it's not, it doesn't hurt to buy a five gallon bucket, you know, at a time. If I was just doing a small touch up, then I would just buy a gallon. But in this case, I'm gonna paint, I'm, I'm gonna be painting two rooms, so I'm just probably gonna buy a gallon bucket. All right, so stay tuned, guys. I'm done with here. Um, I'm just gonna come back and sweep this up, sweep up all the dust, get rid of all the dust. And once I sweep up all the dust, then I'll come back. I'll get the paint later on today or tomorrow and come back and paint it up. Stay tuned on the glass right here. I'm probably gonna dump the real thin. The tenant said they don't want that. But you know, this is real thin, so it's already chipped on the edges. Um, I don't have any use for it, so I'm gonna probably just throw them in the dumpster. Um, one of those guys, they don't, they don't want them, so. so, yeah, stay tuned. Let's see what we're gonna do next scene.